Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another episode. Before we get this episode started, I know you guys can't read it, but I have a merch store now. This is just a custom shirt, whatever, it's sponsored by the merch store, so go check it out because I totally want to be the next Logan and Jake Paul, totally 100%. Anyway, I'm going to get into the video. Alright, this is a video about how to use the Gavar M95 carbine in Battlefield 1. In my opinion, it is the best sniper rifle in the game because it kills people faster than all the other sniper rifles, alright? Let me tell you about this gun, alright? This gun is my most used sniper rifle. I don't think it's actually the best sniper rifle, my bad. I think it is the best vanilla sniper rifle. There's a couple sniper rifles in the game right now that I think are better just because you can get more kills before reloading. But, the thing about the Gavar M95 is it has a straight pull. If you don't know what a straight pull is on a bolt action, instead of having to, basically on a bolt action, you have to lift the bolt up, pull it back, you know, you gotta mess with it. Straight pull is just ka -ching. All right, and I don't know what the advantage is or disadvantage in real life, but this makes it easy to transfer from the 95 carbine to the marksman because, well, in the marksman, you don't have to unscope to pull your bolt back. You can actually stay scoped and still pull the bolt back. So it's easy to flip-flop from those guns. But back to the carbine. The carbine has got the red dot sight. I call it the red dot. I don't even know what it's called in the real game. All right, um, this gun is an amazing two-shot kill weapon, all right? If you can get someone from long range and just nail them once and nail them twice, boom, you're golden, all right? It is also, let me remind you guys, it is a sniper rifle, which means you get a one-shot headshot if you manage to headshot someone, so a little bonus there. Me, personally, when I use this gun, I just use whatever kind of pistol I want. Usually I use the Obres because it's like my favorite pistol because it's cool and weird. But if you don't have the Obres, I would recommend using the, either the MLE or the M1911 or maybe the Fremer Stop, one of those three guns. Those are kind of the, um, the best ones to use with this gun. I hate the PO8 in this game, so don't use the PO8, all right? Just because I hate it. No other reason I hate it. Now, when I'm using this gun, I can do a couple things. You can either snipe kind of far back, you just got to hit headshots, or you can freaking raid buildings with this thing, all right? Or raid cover, flank them, all right? What this thing does is it is a cover-to-cover -cover mover, okay? What I mean by a cover-to-cover -cover mover is you shoot at someone, you move to cover. You shoot at someone, you move to cover. All right, you got to be freaking solid snake with this gun. If you stop moving with this carbine, you will die because moving targets are harder to hit. And you have a gun that is a bolt action. It still is a bolt action, even though it might not feel like it. It's a bolt action. So you need to move from cover to cover, you know, spot to spot, and you'll get used to the, the gameplay of it after a while. You're going to have to try to aim for the head. That is something that you probably should be doing because it is a sniper rifle and getting extra one shots is actually really good. Trust me, in this gameplay, somewhere in it, maybe I put it in, maybe I don't. I hit a couple headshots in a row and it vastly shows off how amazing this gun is. Me, I use incendiary grenades on all of my classes, except for if I, you know, if there's a lot of campers, I use grenades. And the incendiary grenades, I use it to chuck it on the ground somewhere and keep people from walking there. That's really what I use it for, you know. So if you're in like a tunnel, you can chuck a grenade, incendiary grenade down the hallway and keep people from walking through it. And it kind of gives you the range bonus because you have a sniper rifle and they might have a rifle. Um, for equipment... I use a flash hider, or not a flash hider, a flash, a freaking, what is it called? A flare. That's what I use, a flare, because I like to know where my targets are, and I use K-bullets because there's a challenge to kill a vehicle with K-bullets to unlock a gun. I don't remember which gun it is, but it's a gun, and that's why I have K-bullets on. The more important thing is the flare, all right? The flare is by far one of the most useful pieces of equipment for this kind of sniper class. Any sniper class, really. The flare is just vastly superior to every other piece of equipment. One of the hidden traits of this gun that no one talks about is its ability to let you get kills with the Calibri. And this is something I've tried to do a long time ago. I tried to actually condition myself to get a surface star with the Calibri. 100 kills with the Calibri. Did I successfully do it? No. But what I do is use the Gavar 95 
and you shoot someone and swap to the Calibri and just unload on them. So if you want to get service stars with the Calibri, the Gavar M95 is the way to go. But really, if you're kind of used to, I would say in the other Battlefield games like the M4 carbine or even some of the carbines like Battlefield 4 has carbines, this Gavar M95 carbine pretty much works the same way as those in terms of like range and how often you have to move. So if you use those carbines, which I used to use those carbines a lot, so which is probably why I'm really good with this gun because it's a carbine, but it works especially good as a modern age carbine. If that makes any sense, that probably doesn't. Just think of, you have an SMG and an assault rifle and they make a baby. That's how I kind of explain a carbine to someone. The basics of it anyways, in gameplay. So that's really it for this video. I showed you guys some gameplay. I showed you guys how the M95 works. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Do you use this gun? Do you hate this gun? Is it a good gun? Is it a bad gun? I want to know all your thoughts in the comments below. But anyway, I am Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam and Post. Whatever I said to make.